Good morning, everyone. Dr. Vicki here speaking to you from the Seeds of Transformation Healing Center in Wareham, Massachusetts. Today is Monday, July 3rd, and the moon is full in Capricorn. Uh, it's actually about to go full soon, uh, 7.39 in the morning here on the east coast of the U.S. Of course, so we won't see the moon um, in the sky because it's daytime. And we might not see it even if it was out there, up there. It's pretty overcast this morning. <laughs> so full moons are points of awareness. Uh, it is the halfway point of a lunation cycle that begins with the new moon. And remember the new moon occurred at 27 degrees of Gemini and was in a very tight square to Neptune. It was a first quarter crisis in action square between the new moon and Neptune. And so uh, we were, we wanted to take an action, um, especially around communication, um, information gathering, all Gemini things. And then, of course, Neptune always puts a little bit of a fly in the ointment because it's really difficult to discern sometimes when Neptune's involved. But now we come to the full moon and we can see what has been wrought, so to speak. And of course, here in the U.S., um, we are seeing justice hopefully, uh, concerning the ex-president. Um, and we are seeing um, injustice in the Supreme Court. And so it's interesting. Um, we've really had an opportunity to see how our government has worked and how it hasn't, what needs to be changed, what needs to be redone, what needs to be looked at, what needs to be resolved if we are truly to have a democracy. And of course, there's always this uh, over sort of writing, what do the people with all the money want? What do they think? What is it? What are their plans for America? And we're a democracy and uh, we're, I guess we're supposed to be a representative democracy. I'm not sure that's true. Um, but um, we are definitely seeing what needs to be fixed in this country. And this full moon, the, on the day before the, the birthday uh, of the United States, gives us a good, uh, a good view. Um, when we're dealing with Cancer and Capricorn, where, which is the axis of uh, the moon and the sun for this full moon, we're dealing with issues of authority, inner authority and outer authority. We're dealing with issues of security, emotional in the case of Cancer, physical and financial in the case of Capricorn. But of course, anyone who knows a Cancer likes knows that cancer like some financial security as well. Um, so there's all these issues of security. Also, Cancer and Capricorn are the, is the axis of our mother-father, right? The mother-father energy. And uh, how we were raised and um, traditional stuff, right? Traditional stuff. And we get a look to see how this sort of lines up with uh, can we, in fact, rely on traditions? Uh, do we need new traditions? Do we need uh, revision? Or do, do we need to look at it in the light of the situation we're in instead of looking at it through the eyes of tradition and the eyes of the past? Because Cancer and Capricorn does have some connection to the past. Cancer is known for its wanting to, when you read about, when you first start astrology and you read about cancer, they'll say they love antiques. You'll often find them collecting antiques because they're so connected to the past. Well, Capricorn's kind of connected to the past as well because it is traditional. And we're moving into a future. And with Pluto moving into Aquarius, um, future is bright, um, but it's different. 
and it's more egalitarian and uh, people want their voice heard and when we have uh, people wanting their voice heard and then people in p power doing the exact opposite uh, it really does uh, put a is that expression burr under your saddle I <laughs> obviously I have no idea because I'm I'm a city girl and I don't know what that expression might be but something like that or, or a pebble in your shoe. It's like you can't take a step without irritation and pain. And so we see where we stand now. What are we going to do about it, right? What are we going to do about it? Of course we're going to vote. It just, it's just... It's like... Uh, but we voted, and you guys are still not listening to us. So let's see what happens with that. But uh, yeah, so that's the, that's the vibe today. Uh, what are you seeing? What's coming into your uh, view? Now, wherever you might have Cancer and Capricorn in your chart, this is where you will see um, the energy. This is the areas of life where you uh, would see where the illumination is. Where the illumination is, so... That's the story. So we had some, uh, we had quite a bit of rain, uh, which is good because, um, you know, it's good for the plants that were just planted. As you can see, they're really starting to look a lot healthier. Something about, you know, we water them uh, every day, especially the new stuff. Um, but there's something about rain compared to just watering with a hose that, bring some sort of vital energy to the plants and they always look happier after a nice rain so but i know the mosquitoes are happier now after a nice rain it's biting me that's the that's the bad part of the rain around here the mosquitoes mosquitoes get all jazzed up but um yeah so no one else to say Thank you, everyone, for your uh, your birthday wishes. I'm looking forward to uh, my birthday today. Uh, get a little work in, get a little play in, and get a whole bunch of pampering. One of the things that I promised myself this year would be uh, is a year of self care. So that is uh, I'm starting today, getting a little care. <laughs> but. Uh, yeah, don't even know what else to say. It's a lovely morning, though. Chiron is square the the axis of this, widely squared. So we also have to kind of look at the question of uh, our rights to be who we are, our rights to individuality, our rights to our own uh, definitions of ourselves, and that shouldn't hold us back from having the rights because people are people no matter what they call themselves no matter who they love <clears throat> no matter what country they're from um, people have rights and uh, that is also something that comes up with this full moon so alright everyone have a wonderful day like and subscribe um, <clears throat> I'm going to do, uh, <clears throat> I'm planning on doing a little special video on the changing of the nodes, so you can keep your eyes peeled for that, and hopefully get a couple of uh, card readings out. I know you guys love them, and uh, I find that if I do, <clears throat> when I do readings, I have to be in the right frame of mind, so hopefully my mind will frame in the right direction today, and we'll, you'll get a couple of couple of readings but uh until mystery 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 all right guys have yourself a great day charlie that's charlie oh there he is what are you doing let's go eat breakfast okay yeah all right we're gonna go have breakfast take care everyone namaste